Welcome to our news update. Thanks to President EOG and the Vice President of Mechanical and Electrical Equipment Manufacturer, Chinese group Shanghai Electric have signed an agreement to construct a 60 megawatt wind power project across the country in line with his vision for his country. In addition to this being the first wind power project in the tiny East African country, it's part of the country's long-term strategy of becoming Africa's first country that is completely powered through renewable energy. The wind project will be constructed in two parts with 30 megawatts in each, including the construction of two 230 kilovolt lines in northern Djibouti. According to the Ministry of Energy, Djibouti has significant wind potential with the ability to generate an estimated 5,000 kilowatt hours annually. High potential sites include Galbin, Asal, Galimaba, and Badawin. The Djibouti Electricity Authority was responsible for the feasibility and data collection studies. The Minister of Energy said, Djibouti sits at the crossroads of one of the busiest shipping routes in the world, linking Europe, the Far East, the Horn of Africa, and the Gulf. It is the natural gateway to Africa and provides sea, air, rail, and road linkages for East Africa. Its commercial activities revolve around its liberal business environment, regional free trade access, and strategic location as a Red Sea transit point. Energy demands are high and Djibouti needs cheaper power to fund the expansion of its ports, which have seen a surge of movement of cargo, particularly servicing landlocked neighbor Ethiopia. Lower energy costs will also attract more investors to the country. This project is part of the solution and supports Djibouti's new status as a commercial and regional economic hub in Africa. He added, it is also part of our national strategy to achieve energy independence in Djibouti based on clean, permanent, cheap, and above all, accessible energy throughout the country. Djibouti has set the target of becoming fully reliant on renewable power for all its energy needs within the next decade. The Energy Ministry highlighted in a statement, renewable projects include wind, geothermal, solar, and wave energy, and are all in the pipeline. With geothermal capacities regarded as one of the highest in the world, Government plans to drill four exploratory wells within the next year. These wells will be located near the Caldera Asal File geothermal field. Last year, the Japan International Corporation Agency completed a survey of the 13 potential geothermal sites, of which Hanal Garabayas, Northern Gabat, and Gergud have shown potential. The ministry also added that Djibouti's geothermal resources have generated significant interest from the US, Japan, Australia, and Italy. In addition, companies such as Qatar Electric and Fotowatio Renewable Ventures of Spain are involved in developing wind power and solar power projects across the country. EOGs continues to bring investment to Djibouti by signing a $440 million agreement to develop large solar project with a Canadian company to bring clean energy into Djibouti. Plants will be built in four phases over the next four years. SkyPower, the Canada headquartered developer of large-scale solar parks, will develop a 200 megawatt of solar PV capacity in the East African nation. These large-scale utility solar farms that will be built in Djibouti will be the first of its kind in the African continent. 
The 200 megawatt project will be completed in four phases over the next four years at a cost of $440 million, of which around 11 million will be invested towards education, training, and R&D within the tiny East African nation, benefiting its local workforce. Africa has become a global hub for the growth of clean, renewable energy and many visionary leaders of African countries are making the decision to harness the power of the sun to create a brighter future for the citizens of their countries," said Kerry Alder, Sky Power CEO and President. Through this agreement, Sky Power will work hand in hand with the EOG in the development of the country's renewable energy industry and achieve the goal of developing a stronger economy and opportunities for the citizens of Djibouti. And that's our news update. Thanks for joining us today. Bye for now.